Welcome back everybody to another video. My name is Jim and we're back with more Valheim content right now. Today I want to take a moment to just talk about portals. Portals are such a game changer in this. You're able to create fast travel points just the way you want between two locations. The way portals kind of work in this game is each portal is tethered to another. So at our home base here, and I'm going to advise not doing this. We did this for fun, but this will like just chew your frames if you have this many active portals uh, that close together while running through. Um, but you can have you can have them tied. You need a portal on each end of where you want to go back and forth from. But it's a great way to get to places that you want to come back to later or a place of harvesting resources. It's important to note that metal does not travel through portals. And I think I talked about that in the longship video. So if you're going to bring anything back metal related, either craft it on the other side or eat another bite. No, either craft it on the other side or sail it back like we do with our longship. To give you kind of an idea, you want to make sure that your portals are uh, protected on the other end, just in case anything happens. You know, we have a few here to kind of give you an idea. We set up a tag for bone mass and we're going to be fighting him later on stream tonight and I'll be doing a highlight video for that. So make sure to uh, stay tuned for that. But we wanted to connect a way to get to bone mass. Now the boss is on the map here and he is roughly about a two day sail from our base. So what we've done is we've created a portal right to him. So later tonight we come in geared and we're good to go. And we put a structure around it just to keep it safe from getting destroyed or any means. And also a way to repair things on the other side. Um, it's important to note when you're setting up uh, several portals that you want to keep the ingredients on you to make one on the other end. Try to set up a base portal um, where you want it to go. So if you're keeping all your portals at your home base, try to have a couple unattached portals because when you go to the other end, uh, all you need to do is make sure to name them. As long as the two portals are named exactly the same, you'll be able to travel between the two. Um, it's, it's very handy to go to different places. We have them located in different biomes. We have them located near different resources or potentially different boss fights, just as a means to go back and forth. Um, <clears throat> the portals are really great. Um, don't, don't try not to keep them too close together just because again, uh, your frame issues. Uh, on top of that, um, it can't hurt to put signs, uh, maybe to signify. Now you can read the portals up close, but maybe you want to put them in different rooms or put them in different areas, and it can be helpful to name those portals accordingly uh, via a sign. Uh, but just make sure, you know, have those extra ingredients on you when you're going back and forth. They are extremely useful, and uh, you might want to know what you need to craft them. So I'm just going to pull up the menu here uh, to show you here. You're going to need 10 great ore fives. Those are easy to come by. 20 fine wood, again, chopping down oak and uh, birch trees for that. Two certling cores. Now, this is kind of the tricky thing. It's not too bad once you get the hang of the game, but getting your certling cores, you're going to need to go through the crypts. Uh, and we again have a, another video of that. Um, not the sunken crypts, but the burial chambers. So they are named burial chambers. They do have certling cores in them. Uh, you could maybe potentially find them in other areas, but that's where we found them, is those burial chambers. So make sure to farm some cores, uh, because they all kind of look like different cave systems popping up on your map. But definitely get enough of those. You need them for other important things of the game. I just wanted to kind of do a quick video about portals here, to just give you guys an idea of what you can do with this. It is pretty awesome having so many portals, uh, and this, you know, we have a portal that leads to the plains, which is just death right now. But again... Like, they're really cool, they're fun, uh, they're not too, too hard to make once you get everything uh, acquainted with. And I just recommend making portals. Portals on portals, you know? You can't have a portal gun in this, but you can you can craft portals, and that's pretty awesome. Uh, so I appreciate the developers uh, putting this in mind for adding fast travel locations, because the map is huge, and sometimes you just want to get from two points quicker. Uh, so thank you guys for tuning in, thank you for all the love for the Valheim content. Uh, daily streams of Valheim, uh, daily cat screams for Valheim. That's right, Tails. And uh, yeah, I keep doing videos, uh, keep requesting any potential uh, tutorials or just any knowledge we can pass on to other players is, is awesome because we're learning. This game is still new and we're learning a lot together. 
Uh, but again, thank you for the love on all the videos. It's much appreciated. And uh, keep keep rocking, Vikings. Keep building your worlds. I want to see uh, people's worlds. So feel free to share screenshots and that. Uh, join the Discord. We've got uh, stuff set up. A lot of people loving this game coming together and playing. So thank you all for tuning in, and I will see all of you in the next video. Mm -hmm.